Home sweet home. I know I've got so many people I need to thank, so much I want to say. I've got loads to say, but I feel anxious. I'm sure I feel anxious and it's a bit strange, but I want to share this next moment with you because it's everyone who supported me. It's every one of you that's made this possible. And my son and my children have taken this so bad. I'll just read these most recent emails. Hi, babe. Saturday night. Back from visiting you today. Don't know what to say about Spencer, really. He is absolutely heartbroken. He cried the whole way back. We went to TGI and he was crying, saying every kid is with their dad. And I'm the only one that doesn't have my dad here to do things. He cried himself to sleep. He got into a right state. He was saying he misses you so much and wants you home. He was angry at himself for getting upset in front of you. Says he doesn't want you to see him crying and he tried not to cry on every visit but he cannot help it. He's saying he doesn't want to go to, to Tenerife on holiday if you're not coming. He told me to cancel and said he would not get on a plane if it's not with you. Here's a fabulous moment. A year ago I booked a holiday with my family, with all of my family to go to Tenerife for two weeks. We go on holiday on Friday in 24 hours. I did not expect to come home today. I've been released today. My, my children are on their way home now. They weren't at home. So I just want to share that moment. Now I could be bitter and angry about everything that's happened. If I'm bitter and angry, I'd accept my own victimhood. I'm their target. I'm not their victim. It's not the same for my son or for my family. But as I said, I've got so much to say about everything that's gone on. But... I just want to share this moment with you as they come in. I'm anxious waiting for them and I cannot wait. I am so excited. I've been emotional many times because I know how upset my children have been. And they don't know I'm home. My children don't know I'm home. They don't know I've been relieved. They're going to in a minute. <laughs> So I know I'm going to have so many thank yous I need to give people who I want to meet and thank personally, people all over the world, from Ezra Levant and Rebel Media who've been absolute legends through this, to Raheem Kassan, to Gert Wilders, to the Middle East Forum. Do you know when I'm sitting reading, I'm sitting reading emails in my cell, I'm reading emails from people who, I, who I've not met, many of them, who are saying we're not going to rest until he's freed. It was such a feeling to know the support and... I've got so much I want to speak on this, but all I want this to be about is the, is the thank yous to people. I owe people all over the world thank yous. I owe every single one of you to say that the moment of me coming home, I feel great to be home, but also, I'll go into it all when I get back off my holiday, but what they have attempted to do is mentally destroy me. That was not a prison sentence. That was mental torture. That solitary confinement, all of it, everything was orchestrated and organised to cause me maximum disruptions. disruptions. So yeah, I don't feel, I feel nervous. I feel I've got butterflies constantly. I know I've only just come home and it sounds weird, but mainly this is just thank yous. And one thank you I want to give a special thank you to is my lawyers, my solicitors, my legal team, and every one of you that supported them and made it possible. But John Carson from Carson K, Kelly Rowan, and the QC, Jeremy Dean. One more thank you. Actually, there's so many thank yous. I keep remembering. UKIP, Jared Batten, Lord Pearson, Person after person after person who come out and put their ne neck and their reputation on the line. Do you know what I'm, I'm happy for right now? The reason why I'm happy is because I've watched and I've read as firemen were suspended, as school teachers were suspended for simply saying that they saw something that was wrong and they didn't agree with it and they thought it was wrong. Today you've been all been proven right. You've all been proven correct. And I've watched as journalist after journalist, they wrote hit piece after hit piece after hit piece from Sky News to BBC to Channel 4. And if they even knew the current mood of the country or understood the feeling, they'd see by the likes and the responses to their own media articles that the public don't buy it anymore. And that's it, that's just the thank yous. And um, yeah, I just want to say thank you. And I'm going to go take two weeks now to just chill my family, no mobile. What I want to say, when I come back in two weeks, I want every single one of you to join me as 
George is brilliantly going to put together start to finish. I want to see what's been going on. I don't, I've only read little post-its here and there and messages. I want to watch from start to finish what happened from the minute I was taken off the street to the minute I got released. I want all of you to join me as I watch it. So I'll be seeing you all soon when I'm back. Thank you again. I can't express my gratitude enough.